Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? It's your host of the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And we're back with our world famous top 10 stocks for June 2023. And so far, 2023 has been the year of artificial intelligence. We are in the midst of a massive AI bubble and seven of our top 10 picks are AI stocks. And let's get into it right here, right now, exclusively on Rich TV Live. In number 10, I-D-A-I, our first AI pick is the 10th pick. There's going to be seven AI picks on this list. This is the 10th pick for June. It's up 30% today on news, but I want you to see this. We're going to mark this chart up and I'm going to show you what I see. So I see a stock that's been as high as $10. I see a stock that's been as low as $1.24. So we've seen as high as $10. We've seen as low as $1.24. We're currently at $270, and it's up 31% on news. So now we zoom in, and we can see that it's made these huge moves, right? So it's making another huge move. And typically, after these huge moves, it does a pullback. So I'm not telling you to go buy it today. What I want you to do is put it on your radar, put it on your watch list, wait for it to do another one of those pullbacks. And if it does another one of those pullbacks, and you've done your research and you really like it, then you should consider taking it as an AI trade. It's a small cap AI trade. It's only got 6 million shares. So really tight float. So a little bit of news or AI hype can really make this explode. But I want to tell you why I wouldn't buy it this second. See how the, the RSI is sitting at 68? That's right around our sell zone. So this is actually trading in a sell zone. So I don't buy in a sell zone. I'd wait for this RSI to get back down to 30 or lower. And you can also see that the the MACD has crossed, the yellow and blue line here has crossed up, which is also very bullish. I would wait for that to kind of cross down, lose a little steam, then position yourself as opposed to trying to buy this right now uh, that it's made this big move. You don't want to chase the momentum, in my opinion. You want to buy it on a dip, sell it on a rip. So if I was holding this stock, this would be a day for me to sell. I-D-A-I, the company name is T-Stamp. They're my number 10 pick for June, 2023. And number nine, another AI related company, Micron Technologies. So you can see making this move up, see how they're all making this move up. They're all moving with AI. And then if we go to the one year chart, you'll see that it's kind of like a V shape, right? It has made this move where it's been as high as 74 last year, came all the way down to 48. And now it's almost all the way back to where it is a 52 week high. So like I said, I'm not saying you go buy this today. I'm not putting this on my list so you buy it today. But it's another company that's getting very heavily involved in AI. It's making this move up. You can see the trend is clearly up right now and has been for, let's say, almost the last eight months. It's been trending up. So if you wanted to get into this company, I'd wait for a little bit of a pullback. It does have a small dividend, but it's a quality company, solid company. Uh, a large cap company that you can really, you know, put in your portfolio and be proud of. Micron Technologies, another AI play. My number nine pick for June 2023. Now, in number eight, this is not a AI pick, believe it or not, Gap Inc. So the reason I put them on the list is I just felt like they're finding a bottom. Look, you could see $15.26 was its high in January to start the year. Now look at this. It made this massive drop, right? Massive drop all the way down to 722 and we're sitting at 797 and they just reported their earnings and it wasn't that bad. I just feel like this might be finding a bottom. I don't love this company. I don't own this company. I don't know if I am going to buy this company, but just strictly looking at the trend and looking at the chart analysis, you could see that the RSI is sitting at about 39, decent zone. You can see that the MAGD is kind of trading sideways. If this dips a little bit lower and gets back to that 722 mark or lower, I might be interested in taking it for a trade, uh, for a swing trade, because 
with some good news or strong earnings, we could see this move back up to like 15 and then that would be a nice double. So GPS, Gap Inc., not an AI pick, but one that I thought the chart looked interesting for a potential opportunity for a trade, just for a trade. Because if this goes back up to that $15 mark and you're in at seven, you're going to double your money. So Gap Inc., my number eight pick for June 2023. And in number seven, another AI pick that had an absolutely monster week last week and had a huge move. You can see this massive move where it just exploded up, right? So I'm not saying you go buy it today, but it's definitely one to put on your radar and put on your watch list if you're looking for AI picks. And we are always looking for anything that's hot. And right now, AI is in a massive bubble. So you can see it hit $67 last week on strong news and earnings. You can see it's been as low as 33 and we're sitting at 59. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you to buy it right now after this massive move up. But what I do think you need to do is put on your radar, put on your watch list, another AI pick. And if this AI momentum continues, I would not be surprised to see MRVL, Marvel Technology, continue this move up. So very, very strong. This is another one of those AI companies. Look at that move. But look at this. The RSI sitting at 71. That is in the sell zone. I'm not going to buy something in the sell zone. It's made a major move up. Wait for a pullback and then consider positioning yourself. You can see here also the MACD crossed up. Very, very bullish indicators. I'd like to see these indicators get back down to something not so bullish. Then I position myself in Marvel Technologies, but another AI company that you need to put on your radar and put on your watch list, our number seven pick for June, 2023. Now in number six, another AI related company. This is a company that just had a monster year when it first came out and just ripped like crazy. If you look at its all time, you can see this thing has been as high as $400. Crazy, right? $400 when it first came out. That was a lot of hype. That's what we call a bubble. And you can see the bubble burst. It came all the way down from 400 all the way down to $11. So crazy, crazy, crazy drop, right? Went all the way down to 11. But now what did it do? It just made this crazy move from 11 all the way to 29. So I'm not going to tell you to buy it now. But what I want you to do is put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. Another one of those companies that's really benefiting from AI and one that if it drops back down and the RSI gets back down to 30 or lower and the MACD starts pointing down and we get back to this like $15 or lower mark, then I would consider getting in even myself for a buy and ride this back up to 25, 30 and then take the trade. That's what I would do with this. So when I'm giving you guys these picks, I'm not trying to say you should buy it today. It's not the plan. The plan is to give you good quality companies give you my strategy and tell you how I'm looking at these picks and how I'll position for them on the next move because this move's already done. So you don't want to be buying it now, in my opinion. I think that we want to wait for it to get back down under 20, maybe even under 15, then position ourselves. And then when the next big run for AI comes and the pump comes, then this goes back to 25, 30, then take your profits and then wait for it to drop again. So that's the way I would trade UPST, Upstart Holdings, my number six pick for June 2023. Now we're in our final five. In number five, Ford. So this is not an AI trade, but it's a company that I think that could get into AI. And I think if it does get into AI, I think it could really explode. It's also another company that I think is just undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. You can see in the last year, it has been as low as 966. That's where I would love to get in for a trade. So I'm not telling you to buy it at 12. It's just made a nice little move up. I'd like to get it in a little cheaper if possible. And you can also see it's been as high as 15. So that's the low, low and the high, high. And you can see the RSI is sitting at about 53. So it's a little bit high still. I'd like to see this get back down closer to 30 or lower. That's when I think about getting in the trade. So I'm not saying buy Ford, but it's definitely one that I'm watching. And it just feels like Ford has been down for a long time. It has been doing this nice little trend up just recently, but that doesn't immediately tell me I should buy it. 
because it hasn't done well. It hasn't performed well. So since it hasn't performed well, you have to be really, really cautious, really, really careful. I like to buy this around $10, $9 if possible. And then my exit would be as if it, if it runs back to 14 or 15, sell it then. That'd be my plan. But this is one that I've been watching for a while. I think that if these prices are lower, it's a reasonable buy. Seems like a pretty safe buy. And they do have a dividend. So dividend yield of 4.99% for Ford, only 12 bucks. I think we could see it go as low as 10. But I also think in the future, this could go as high as 20 plus. So I think this is more of a long-term trade, but I do believe that it's one that everyone should be looking at and thinking about Ford, symbol F, and they're my number five pick for June, 2023. Now in number four, Uber. So Uber is another play. It's not an AI trade, but I could see them also getting into artificial intelligence and autonomous driving. I feel like there's a lot coming here for Uber and you can see it's been trending up. So it is starting to gain steam. It's gone from $22 to 40 recently. So I'm not saying go buy it right now, but I've been a big fan of Uber and it's just been beat up for a really long time. You can see it hit a low of 22 and just recently, just in the last little while, just hit $40. So we're sitting at 37. I'm not saying buy it right now, but if this does dip uh, or have an extreme dip and get back under 30 or even a 25 zone, I'd really be interested in taking it for a buy. I do like these guys long-term as well. They are planning to be profitable by the end of this year. So I think that will be a massive catalyst for Uber once they go profitable. And I just like this company. I think it's a good technology play. And I think they could be a big time AI play in the future. So Uber, my number four pick for June, 2023. And number three, a company that is getting into AI big time, Palantir Technologies, PLTR, look at this. They've had a major move. They just recently hit five bucks. That was the beautiful entry that we just missed, unfortunately. And it just hit 15 on the high end and we're sitting at 14.20. So we're very close to 52 week high. You can see that it's made this big move here from $5 to 15 in just a few months. So very, very bullish. I like this company. I think it has big potential and I'm not saying buy right now, but if it gets on an extreme dip, I would definitely consider buying it. It's made a big move. So I don't want to buy it at these prices. I don't want to be holding the bag, but if this dips back to 10 or lower, that's where I would like to position myself because I do believe we'll see this go back to 15 or 20 in the future. So another company that I think you need to put on your radar, put on your watch list, PLTR, my number three pick an AI play too in June 2023. Now we're in our final two, and these are big time AI chip makers, AMD. So you could see your AMD got, uh, had a massive run and then fell back, got annihilated all the way down to $54 and hit that low mark, like most of these stocks in November. And now you can see this massive trend up. So I'm not gonna tell you to buy it now. It's made this huge move up. Very, very bullish. I would wait for a dip if you could, wait for a pullback. If I could get into AMD under 100, seems like a reasonable trade. I wouldn't want, I don't want to buy this at 119. I don't want to buy this at 110. I'd like to get it under 100 if possible. It was just at 54. So it's already up 40% this month and it's up over 100% in the last eight months. So it's been an absolute monster AI play chip maker, AMD, my number two pick for June, 2023. See how the RSI is sitting at 69? That's in the sell zone. You don't wanna be buying in the sell zone. I'd wait for this to get down to 30 or lower and see how the MACD is crossing up. That's also a very bullish indicator. That's showing that it's got a lot of momentum up. I'd wait for that to be pointing down, wait for it to die down a little bit, wait for it to lose some steam. And then I would be looking to buy it and if I do buy it, I'll let you know. I like AMD a lot. My number two pick for June, 2023. Now in number one, these guys have been leading the way for AI and chip makers and essentially this entire AI bubble, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA has been one of our top picks all year. We've been talking about it all year. It's been absolutely on fire, pretty much leading the AI charge. You could see it was at a hundred bucks in November, 
just like AMD, uh, October, November, a lot of these companies hit their bottom, right? And now it's made this massive move up 300% from the bottom to the high of 419, which it just hit. And now it's already coming back. Why? Because it's overpriced. We already know this is overpriced. It's overhyped. It's overpriced. And what are they doing? They're selling stock. They're selling $10 billion worth of stock because even the company knows it's overpriced. It's trading at a 52-week high. I'm not telling you to buy it. Jim Cramer just told everyone to buy it. That's your signal to sell. So I'm not saying you should buy it. But what I'm saying is this is the number one pure quality company AI play chip maker, the leader, okay? So when you're looking for AI plays, this is a pure AI play that has huge potential. Wait for it to pull back. Wait for it to get shorted. Wait for them to sell stock. Wait for it to go down. If it gets back under 300, maybe then's a buy. So definitely one to put on your radar and put on your watch list. I'm not going to chase it now when the RSI is sitting at 73. It's sitting in the sell zone. So this is where I would be selling. You can clearly see it's selling now today down almost 5% because shorters are shorting it. And the companies decided they want to sell stock because it's trading at a 52-week high. So if you're a company, that's the perfect time to sell stock. So I expect it to come lower. If it does get under 300, then maybe I would consider picking it for a trade because a lot of people are still going to buy this stock. Institutions, investors, uh, long-term investors. A lot of investors are going to jump into this because they want to get into the AI sector. And this is the number one AI play on the planet. NVIDIA, put on your radar, put on your watch list. But you never want to chase something that has this type of momentum because of the fact that at some point the momentum could turn and you don't want to be left holding the bag. See how that's gone up so aggressively? Remember, this thing went up before and then it came down. We can go back and look at the five-year chart and see like this thing made this move up before and then it came down very fast. So just as quickly as we saw go from 30 to 350 and then go back down from 350 all the way down to 100, which only took like a year, we can quickly see that again. So you don't want to be stuck buying this at 380 and watching go back down to 100. So be patient, wait for a dip. I believe this AI momentum is going to continue for quite some time. Wait for a dip, wait for a nice pullback, wait for the bleeding to stop, then maybe position yourself in NVIDIA. I don't own it right now, but if I take it for a trade, I'll let you know. These are my top 10 stocks for June 2023. What do you think about our list? What do you think about our top 10 stocks for June 2023? Love to know what you guys think. Love to get your feedback. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video, and subscribe if you're live. It's your host of the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners, we bring you the news, chart analysis, CEO interviews, trending topics, and the top 10 stocks. Every single month, our world famous top 10 stocks for June 2023. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.